Hey guys, what's up? Cell here. So today we're going to do a video on how to watch Twitch on VLC player. This is going to do quite a few things like help lower your CPU usage and whatnot. This is especially helpful for me being on an i5. This way I can like watch Twitch streams easily without having to worry about it interfering with my game on the other side. So starting off right here, you can see we have a couple things open. We've got uh, our task manager showing our CPU usage. Now keep in mind I'm encoding the uh, desktop at a rate of 50,000 right now. So that's going to be a lot of the CPU usage. What I'm going to do here is actually do a screenshot without OBS running and showing what it looks like uh, CPU usage with um, in, within Chrome, within normal Flash Player, and then using VLC. So bring up uh, a stream right here. This is just uh, Twitch's Food Network thing. Looks like some kind of show is ending or something. And there you go. You can see our CPU usage shoots up quite a bit. Although this is a bit more than I would normally do when I'm not encoding the desktop or whatnot. But you can see here, it, it obviously makes a pretty significant rise whenever you do this. So now next thing we're gonna do is walk through the steps of what you need to do to get VLC player to run Twitch stream. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is in the world browser, just do a quick search for VLC. And it's gonna bring you this page here. Now I'm not gonna install anything because I already have it installed and you guys probably already know how to do that. So it's a waste of time. But we're gonna go here and if you're on Linux or something like that, you can click this down arrow here and get the Linux version. There's even an iOS and whatnot. So this is all pretty nifty here and other systems. But if you're on Windows like me, just click this. It's just gonna download the Windows version for you. You can, I would even suggest if uh, you end up liking this, maybe come back here and give these guys some money because this is an open source project that is pretty awesome. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is go to, um, live streamer and right here you're gonna see a couple things here I would just go straight to this uh, installation this overview is just the documentation but if you go right here you can see the live streamer SDK and all the different ways to install it on Linux so they give you all your uh, commands that you need there even OSX and source codes and go down keep scrolling down and there's one for windows this one you're just gonna click here and it's gonna go ahead and start downloading it i don't really need that because it's already installed but it's an exe file you just open it install it and then you have the sdk in your system and then the next thing we need to do is if we back out here there's this one github for live streamer twitch gui or you just type in live streamer gui and it's gonna bring up the graphical user interface plugin for this. Now, before you used to have to use a command line to use this, but now there's actually a GUI and it's actually supported in quite a few things. If we go down here to, oh, where is it? Download, directly download from GitHub. And we go down, we can see that there's on version 0 0.13.0 uh, and there's a Linux version, both 3264 OSX and Windows. We're going to download the Windows zip file here. And all you're going to do is uncompress this and it's going to be one folder and it's going to give you a folder that looks something like this right here. And if you just unzip it with whatever kind of software you have, I have 7-zip, extract it to its own file. And then you're going to end up with this. And if you go in here, this is essentially what you have. So what you want to do is take this folder and put it somewhere in your C drive, like I have down here. I just have it on the main C drive. And then I have it here. And then you can right click, create a shortcut. And then that way, you have a shortcut on your desktop. Okay. Now, what I'm going to show you guys right now is like this is course streaming I'll also take a video of me not or video a picture of me not streaming and showing what the typical usage is with just VLC player but as you can see right now my CPU usage is like right around here now we're gonna open up live streamer maybe it's thinking about it and first time you go it's gonna look 
pretty much like this. You can do a search for streams and stuff, but if you want it to link it in, like say you want to do like live stream or something like that, or look at some of those streams that are going on that you subscribe to, you hit here live streams. And the first thing it's gonna ask you is to sign into Twitch and it'll get authorized from Twitch and then it'll pull it up. But for me, since I'm already signed in, it's right here. So we're just gonna go to the food channel. Leave it out or you could replace And we're gonna mute it for right now. And there we go. You can see my CPU usage is quite a bit lower. Now it's typically when I'm just watching off of VLC, it's actually almost damn near idle. It's really not hitting a whole lot. It's maybe hitting like 10%, 15% the most of like a lot of fast actions happening. But I rarely see my clock even up the side. It's usually like uh, one gigahertz, 1.5, something like that. And I'll take a, a image of that and put it in the video. But I hope that helps you guys. You can do some other nifty stuff with this, like actually go in here and there's even a dialog box where you can pop up here and put up chat and for like Windows Manager uh, you can actually go over here put it that side press this one and go and then you've got kind of like a twitch like setup here you can do some cool things like you can with any other video in VLC like actually go in here and do video effects you can sharpen the image a little bit make it look a little bit cleaner or whatnot um, just like really the sky's the limit with this thing and it's pretty nice to have it set up like this and like I said, it makes it nice for me because I can actually like watch streams and play games at the same time on my uh, uh, budget CPU, so it's pretty nice. So I hope that helps you guys. If you like this, uh, like, comment down below, and if you guys haven't seen them yet, go back and check out the uh, stuff for like um, LAN Syndicate or any LAN event to help get your rig to events, and check out the uh, Steam Link review. And if you guys don't know, I'm also streaming on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday now at 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. ish. That can change depending on things going on or whatnot. I always am pretty good at uh, tweeting that out at Cell Processing on Twitter. But I'll stream like random games like this week. I'm kind of probably going to stream some Ashes of Singularity. Um, probably more Atari Vault because I'm still addicted to that. But. You guys go there, hang out. If you got any questions or anything like that, feel free to ask, and I will see you later.